Hi, and welcome to another GeoPointers. Today we're going to talk about CSV imports. Now, I'm a Salesforce admin for Vandalay Industries, and a coworker just sent me over a CSV file that has a list of addresses and store names associated with them, and uh, he wants to see them on a map. Now, I could go in and create a custom object and go through the exercise of uploading that or bringing them into another standard object and processing them and doing all that. But if I just want a quick and dirty way to actually take a look at that data on the map, we now have CSV import. And let me show you how this works. So I'm gonna go ahead first and click on the plus button here to, to go ahead and create a new. And in this case, we're just picking the third one down, which is a CSV import. Um, and the first thing it's gonna do is ask us for, where is this file located? So here we have uh, my store locations. And inside this CSV file is the actual address, a name and a revenue number. Uh, we'll go ahead and store it in my uh, CSV import folder here. Now, when I select next, it's going to do its best to pull out the addressable information that we have that's located within this CSV file. Um, I'm gonna give it a meaningful name, so we'll call it stores. And um, you see here we have a field mapping for name as well as are there any optional attributes? And in this case, we're gonna color by a region. Let's go ahead and click on next. Uh, of course, you know, what data types are these fields? In this section, the region is a text box and our revenue is a numeric value. It handles these a little bit differently. We will go ahead and click on save now. So right now, the CSV layer is being processed and it'll act very much like a GeoPoint data set once it's complete. A user can click on the layer and add it to the map. And the system supports mapping the file using the nearby viewable area, shape and everywhere map filters. It's important to note that the records are in the CSV file are not imported into Salesforce's records in a Salesforce object. Rather, they are imported in a way that's only usable by GeoPoint. So if you're looking to have this data imported into a Salesforce as a record in an object, we recommend using Salesforce tools and then setting that object up as a map object in GeoPoint. So as you can see, the CSV import progress is complete and we have 695 GeoCode successes. Let's go ahead and add that layer. Wow, this is great. Look at this. Using my interactive legend, I'm able to come over here and take a look and see, I'm able to see all of this great data. And we also support the roll up summary. Here you were looking at by region. We can actually change that as well. There's also by count or by revenue. These are all fields that were that we just imported. Um, we can also hide out that data and you'll notice we're actually changing that revenue number up here uh, you know as we go through and click on this so if we're just looking at that central region you know the east region the west region and if i were to click on any of these records you'll notice we get that nice address and then uh, if i wish to go ahead and create an account out of this import, you'll notice we actually bring over that all that relevant information such as city, street, state, zip. We can go ahead and click on save to go ahead and import that account.